Hey guys, it's Jamin with PC Monkey. Uh, we're bringing you another computer repair video today. Uh, we have an HP computer here. We're going to be showing you how to remove one of these normal size square keys, the letters, the numbers, and one of the normal size keys. If you're looking for a video on the larger keys, backspace, shift, enter, spacebar, uh, check down below in the, in the description. We'll have a link for the video that shows you how to remove one of these. They don't look the same inside, so uh, we wanted to make two different videos. Uh, now the reason why you would remove a key and then install a key is a lot of these keyboards are French inset keyboards. What that means is these keyboards inside, they're not held on by screws. You can't just unscrew them and replace them. They're held on by plastic rivets, uh, which is a one shot deal. Once you rip this up to put a new one down, it's never going to be as secure. It's never going to be as stable. So a lot of people, if a key breaks off, they'll choose to go online, eBay or Amazon, uh, and either buy a loose key, or if they can't find a loose key, they'll buy an entire used keyboard. And then they'll take a key off of that keyboard and, and put it on here. And that way they, they keep the stability um, and the secureness of, of, of their keyboard and their palm rest. So we're going to show you how to remove a key safely without breaking it, and then how to install it safely without breaking it. So we're going to go after the L key today. You're going to need a small flathead, smaller the better. A normal household one will definitely be too big. Uh, but let's zoom in. Show you the L key, what it looks like under there, and how we're going to take it off. Camera zooms in kind of slow, sorry. Alright, this is my L key. Now what I want to do is I want to get my uh, flathead screwdriver underneath the key cap, this top part, but above the retainer clip, which is the inside mechanism that holds it down. So it's hard because you can't see under this, so I have to feel it out. Got to get in between those two components. I, d I do this a lot so I can feel it a little easier. So that popped off relatively easily, and as you can see, my flathead is holding down this black component here. That, that, that's my retainer clip. Um, they'll generally all look the same regardless of model. They'll be white or black, and they'll generally look like this. You'll have a little rubber bouncy thingy in the middle. You'll have a, uh, a two-part plastic retainer clip, and it will be held down by four metal clips toward the edges. They'll all, all basically look like this. They'll all be different shapes, so like one from one model won't fit into another model, but, but they'll all be laid out the same way. Side note, if you lose this uh, bouncy thingy there, it's held on by glue. If that rips off, if you lose it, it it's kind of hard to duplicate that. I mean, you can put it in there and set it in there nice and gently and, and it should stay. Um, but unless you're going to use some thin double-sided tape or glue, it's going to be hard to repair that if, if that rips, so be careful around that. Now to get this retainer clip up, I'm going to look for the plastic clips that are closest to the edge, in my case the top ones. See how they're closer to the edge than the bottom ones are? So those are the ones that I'm going to go after. Now there's not a lot of wiggle room, it's pretty tight in there, but I'm going to get what I can get. I'm going to push up a little bit on the retainer clip while I gently try to wedge the plastic out from under these metal clips. And this is where you're going to break it if you do break it, so be careful. I'll show you. Just push up, pop that out, pop that one out. All right. So there's your retainer clip, and as you can see, I didn't break it. If I did, these wouldn't be like complete circles. Part of it w would be broken off, but luckily I didn't break it. So this is the part you're gonna break. Now, don't be too freaked out if these parts come uh, unfastened from each other. Sometimes they do. It's, it's painstaking, but you gotta get them back together as long as it's not broken. I hated doing key repair when I first started computer repair. I would rather replace a motherboard than a key. Um, very easy to break, and I often did. So to get it back in there, we're gonna go in reverse. We just took it off top first. We're gonna put it in bottom first. So set this key in there, set it down nice and even, nice and symmetrical. Get these bottom metal clips in where they should be. And once you do, you should be able to just push on the top and snap it into place. Like that. So once that's in place, you put your key cap on, try to get it centered, and just push. And there you go. So that's how you would remove safely and install a key, a normal size key on an HP laptop. Uh, again, if you're looking for a larger size, go to the video in, in the description. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.